Yep. That's a good one right there. Nice little redfish. That was a real snook right there. Alrighty guys, once again, welcome back to another video. Today we got something awesome going on once again. We are actually up here towards Matt Lachey, a place that I don't fish as much as I should. It's a little bit of a drive for me, probably about an hour from Naples, but it is one of my favorite places to fish. Just beautiful water, oysters everywhere, mangroves, just unlimited amount of water it feels like. And I am super stoked to say the less. And I am going to be throwing top water. It's super early this morning, like seven o'clock and gonna start off with some top water, three inch skitter walk, and then transition into some other baits as the sun comes up a little bit. But goal for today is get on a big snook or a big redfish. Prefer a big snook. I've been, I've been getting some big redfish if you guys haven't seen some of the last videos, which has just been awesome, so much fun. But I kind of miss, kind of miss getting my hands on a nice snook, a uh, little bucket mouth. But with that being said, we are gonna get fishing and we are gonna fish hard today till about midday, hopefully, and we're gonna get on something good. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned, and I'll be back when I have a rod in the water. Guys, let's go. I am super excited, like I said. I mean, I feel like every time I go fishing, it's just I'm so excited to go fish and try to get you guys some nice fish. Um, enjoying fishing a lot. And like I said, we're fishing an area today that I love. So hopefully we get on some nice fish. I would love to get a nice fish on top water. I feel like I've really been trying to get you guys some really good top water action and I just have not been successful. That being said, we're going to try to change that today. I would love to see like a 30, like a slot snook. Just come up and blow this top water up. Oh my goodness, look at that snook. So tiny. Just shows you how aggressive these snook are, man. These things, from the time they're a little baby, they just love eating stuff. Oh my goodness. That was a little bit better one. It was so weird. So he, he almost like slurped it. He didn't really hit it. So I didn't know if he got it or not. And then I saw my top water like swimming underwater. I think that was, a, it was probably a little snug, 20 inches or so. It's awesome though. Top water's been getting a lot of eats. Something's on it. A little guy. Bunch of head wakes back here. I like the look of it. Like I said though guys, fishing has just been awesome. And you guys have been really helping out, supporting the content. I appreciate it more than you guys know. I think the last couple videos have just really done a lot better than the ones in the past. Just blowing up and can't can't thank you guys enough, but <laughs> dude, these little snookers so so funny to watch trying to eat these topwaters they're so aggressive i've caught some slot snook on top water but it's been a minute and i would just love that wow that was a massive fish in the middle right there i don't know if you guys saw that i just cast it out in the middle just spooked a massive fish probably a big red fish that was a nice blow up right there Come on, man. I never understand that when they blow up on it and then just don't come back. That was awesome. Nice blow up. Best one of the day so far. Looked like a decent snook. Oh my goodness. I think he's still looking for it. That's him right there. That was another solid blow up. They're, they're back here, man. It's a good amount of fish back here. I feel like every cast I'm getting blown up on. Oh my goodness. That is an unreal eat, man. This snook, oh my gosh, he's knocked it out of the water three times. Oh my gosh, the guys. That is, he wasn't that big. He was probably like 18 inches. That is, the most aggressive snook I have ever seen in my life. He knocked it out of the water three times. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, there's nothing better than that, man. I need to chill out though, because there's a bunch of fish right here. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Well, something's blowing up on that bait right there. Obviously nothing crazy, but nice little snook right there. And they're just so aggressive right now. I need to find one big snook that's as aggressive as these little ones. Dude, this guy just cannot figure it out. So much bait. It explains why all the fish are here. You look out into the bay, it's just bait jumping and flipping everywhere. I look down in this grass, I just see so many, just little pinfish, just all sorts of different types of fish that are just candy for these snook and redfish. Something I think that I struggle with with topwater, and let me know if like you guys are the same, is knowing when to put it away. We're nowhere near that time right now, at least I hope, because it's still, I mean, it's seven, it's eight o'clock right now. So we still have a lot, a decent amount of morning left, like low light, but once it gets like 8.39, I always struggle whether I know it, whether if I should throw it or not. That was a real snook right there. Come back for it. Yep, that's a good one right there. I don't know how big he is. Oh, it's a good one. Nothing crazy. He's barely hooked though. Stay down, buddy. Wow, he is barely hooked. Here we go. Look at that one. Getting bigger. Alrighty guys. 20 24 inch snook right there. He hit the top water, beautiful snook. He hit it extremely hard. I knew it was a, a little bit better one, that's for sure. Well, that was awesome, guys. Not frayed up. Guys, I don't know if you guys saw that hit. I knew immediately. The snook that are a little bit, obviously he wasn't massive, but 24 inch snook, that's when it starts to become like a quote unquote, like decent, like good snook for me, I think. Right at that 24 inch mark. But he had that first blow up was big and I just kept working it. A lot of people stop it and stuff, do other stuff. Whenever I have a snook blow up like that, if he misses it, right when he misses it, sometimes I'll speed it up a little bit, do a couple like kind of really quick twitches, like the mullet's kind of trying to get away from him. But then I'll just go back to the nice and easy retrieve. And I mean, it worked that time. You guys saw he blew up on it. And then about 15 feet later, he came back and smoked it. So that was really neat, but nice little 24 inch snook. That was a pretty one right there. Now we need that slot, a nice slot snook. Alrighty guys, well, the skitter walk is being retired. Did good for me this morning. Top water bite for me this summer so far has been a little bit disappointing. Um, usually it's a little better, but that was probably the best top water morning I've had just because of the, the couple just really cool eats. But um, with that being said, we are gonna switch to a gulp because I am tucking back in a creek and not really gonna be able to throw that all that well. We're gonna be going to the root beer gold color. I saw this the other day at the store. I've never thrown it before, but it looks unreal. Matches this color really good. That was quick, a little snook. Nice little snook. Oh, my bait just hit me. There's a little guy. 
Good jump. Here we go. Wow, he is a chunky little snook, man. Ooh, say bye bye. I think I'm gonna throw this natural shrimp color. The water isn't as dark as I thought it would be. I think this profile with like bouncing through the grass, this little white with some gray bouncing through the grass might do really well. Whoa, what the heck? Oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys saw that. Literally grabbed that bait and I think he swam at the boat a little bit. I think he ate it, then swam at the boat a little bit. So when I set the hook, he was like already running. Wow, that was good though. That was a, that was a decent little snook. One feels all right. Nice little redfish right there. First one of the day, beautiful little redfish. Come here, buddy. Oh. All right. All right, guys. Nice little redfish right there. He's probably 18 or 19 inches, but that's a good sign. First redfish of the day. Hoping we get some other ones that are a little bit bigger. That is a beautiful fish. All righty, let's go get on another one. Let's go get on one a little bit bigger, huh? There's one thing I know about this area is that there's a lot of those guys swimming around. A lot of big ones too. That one feels a little better, guys. I think it's another redfish. Yep, another one right there. Yeah, he's a decent one. Look at him running through that flat, that shallow flat right there. Beautiful fish, guys. Oh! Alrighty, guys, another little one right there. Beautiful fish. He's probably about the same size. There we go. Well, that's two in a row, two redfish, nothing of any crazy size, but still pretty redfish regardless. And I'll take that any day of the week. We're gonna try to get on some more. That was a nice redfish right there. Just cruising along the flat. I mean, this is redfish heaven right here, guys. It's just grassy bottom. Oh, that was a nice little redfish right there. That was a really pretty one. I might get off this line just a little bit. It is a good sign that we're seeing a lot of fish. Oh, nice little. Here we go, guys. Nice little redfish. Got to get up there a little bit so he doesn't get in these sticks. Doesn't get much better than that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful little redfish right here. Beautiful little guy. Another nice little one, man. We were just chasing the rat reds today. We were on them. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's another redfish down. We are on the rat reds today. That one was super fun. He hit it pretty far away from the boat. Tried to get me around those trees. We are now, I mean, we have the quantity down. Now we are trying to get quality. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell, this is just a little pocket that kind of breaks off from the uh, from the bay, but I, it's just whenever you get back here on days like today, I find that you just stop seeing a lot of fish. We have an incoming tide. Back here, it's not really affecting us much with like current or anything, but I will say is like we, I mean, I got back there, there's no water movement. At least here, you're kind of exposed to the wind a little bit, so you get a little bit of water movement, which typically helps the helps the bite a good bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is throw around this swim bait, NLBN three inch. 
if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that these have produced really big redfish for me lately. Uh, if you haven't seen those, watch the last couple videos. But reeling this, try to keep it above the grass. Nice and easy retrieve, and we'll see what happens. But I think a, a, a nice redfish could eat this. Big snook. We'll see. It's a decent little guy right there. Well guys, there's a nice little snook right there. He, uh, that was my probably third cast with the swim bait, just flipped it right up in the mangroves. I just, I feel like swim baits, gulps are great, and I love gulps. I mean, that's been my go-to bait for a while, but I feel like with a lot of big fish, you're trying to get a nice reaction bite, and if you throw a gulp on them, a lot of times that happens, but also, there's so many times, I can't tell you how many times, I throw a swim bait like this, it lands, and within the first three, like, cranks, I'm on with a nice fish, you know what I mean? And I think it's because they, they hear it land and then they look real quick and they just see a really nice profile little minnow, a little mud minnow. And they're like, well, I'll take that. But so far it's been an awesome day, a lot of action. Whenever you're having a bunch of action, you just cannot, can never complain about that. Oh my goodness, man. Every time I have a bait out, I see a snook. That's the second one where it's just laid up, a good opportunity to cast at it and eat. And my bait's 40 yards out. Can't get it back in time before he spooks. That's a nice snook right there. Cast it way in front of him. Just let him swim into it. He wasn't interested. That was another 30 or so inch snook. Jeez, I think this one might be smaller than the second one. All right, well, we're back on the board. Man, we are in a little slump right now, not gonna lie. I'm looking for some more redfish or snook. I think I'm gonna motor out and go find a new spot. I might go find a creek. Alrighty guys, literally just looked on my GPS and just went into a random spot. So we'll see how this is, but exploring is awesome. This is just a beautiful area right here. Water, we have a really nice incoming tide now. Water is just dumping in here. Bait's getting hit. And then this leads back to a nice little, little basin bay. I'm gonna just go explore back in there. This canal reminds me of the Keys. Little mangrove tunnels in the Keys that are just clear. There's my first snook. Oh, I forgot these rods are up. It's not good. That is a decent snook, guys. That's a nice one on the shallow flat. He's gonna take me to these mangroves. Gotta get up there. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna cut me off. There we go. Oh. Beautiful snook. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Alrighty guys. Figured I'd hop out and kind of show you guys what happened with that snook. So I literally turned this corner. I'm in this creek right here. Turn this corner and he's nothing crazy. Probably smaller than the other one, but Low 20s, cool fish where I caught them, and I'm standing on this flat, and um, but beautiful fish. This water's pouring back in here. I'm gonna keep going back, and there's this deep little channel, and I saw a redfish on that other flat, but um, oh, pretty snook right there, and we're just sitting on sand. I cast it right on that sand flat, and he killed it, but beautiful fish. Doesn't get much better than that.
Well, that was cool, guys. He fought hard. I thought I was on with a 30-inch snook for a second. I think the road has ended, though. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to wrap up the day today. That was a pretty fun day. It kind of reminds me of why I need to come up here a little more. Um, take advantage of living close to this area, the Mat Lachey, kind of Pine Island area. Super unique ecosystem up here. Just super clear water, a bunch of oysters, grass flats, grass flats everywhere you look, and it makes for some fun fishing. Really got on some, some rat red fish. That was kind of the vibe for today, was just chasing around some rat red fish. Um, added two snook, one was decent, 24 inch snook, and then the other one is a little smaller, uh, and then a bunch of just little ones after that. But morning topwater bite was fun. I was throwing a three inch skitter walk around, and I kind of wish I got out here. I got out here early, like 7.15 ish. I wish I got out here at like 6.45, because I think I would have added a couple decent snook uh, to the bag with the top water. They were fired up this morning. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys a lot. You guys have been supporting the videos a bunch, and I'm gonna keep grinding, keep putting out these videos, trying to do two a week, and uh, just trying to explore, just do a bunch of different stuff. Gonna hop on the paddleboard here shortly, if you guys like that. All backwater stuff. Uh, headed to the Keys shortly, gonna do a Keys little playlist for you guys, and that should be fun. But anyways, I'm gonna head back to the ramp. I appreciate you guys once again, and God bless you guys, and have a nice day. Peace out. See you in the next video.